couldn't believe that 400 million litres every day leave the rest of the reservoir, would you? Every day. I've got no perception how much that is. No perception whatsoever. 400 million bottles of water, litre bottles of water. That's a staggering amount. I just can't comprehend that, but they say that's what leaves every day. If Mardale was still a village that was lived in, I think it would be the most expensive property in the world. Because who wouldn't want to live in amongst that? They say that Ullswater is Britain's most beautiful lake. I will say Horswater is Britain's most tranquil stretch of water. But there's a question. Which other stretch of water within Cumbria is man-made? As we head off to history in a hidden building that's got to make your toes curl. So as we leave Horswater and retrace our steps, as I mentioned before, you've got to turn round at the end. Keep an eye open for this junction here, as it says towards Shap. And that is where you've just come from. Beautiful, isn't it? Just you wait. <laughs> just you wait. Well, over there, that's where Shap starts. You'll have heard of Shap, I've no doubt, on weather forecasts. Because just over that hill behind there, that's the M6. And it's one of the highest points on the M6 in this area. So if the weather becomes poorer, then at Shap Summit, blah, 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 that's where we're talking about. Now before we get to Shap, we're going to turn right. Now you can still see in the distance there where we've come from. So that's how close we are. How far is it? It's a hop, skip and jump from Horsewater. And a stone's throw from Shap itself. Concrete road. Why is it a concrete road? Answers on a postcard. So having left Horswater, we're now here at Shap Abbey. Shap Abbey is located in a remote valley. Shap village is literally just over the little rise there. But it's in the valley, it's next to the river Lowther. But when the King Henry VIII, his suppression of the abbeys and the eviction of its canons, it was handed to the governor of Carlisle in 1540, even though it was established in 1200, so it survived for over 300 years, located here. But there's something that I want to be able to show you that I've never seen anywhere else. A lot of the stone from the Abbey was used in the surrounding buildings, but some of the monastic buildings that remained were used in the farm right there. But what I want to be able to show you is something I've never seen anywhere else. And I find it absolutely fascinating. A 
and it's on the floor right there. This is one of the cloisters where the canons used to meet. And what happened was, some of them were interred within the abbey. And this is one of them. It's a stone coffin. It's only two strides long, but look at the width. They didn't have fast food back in those days, did they? The building at the end was built in 1500. So only 40 years before Henry VIII decided he was going to destroy them. And I'm sure you've heard the legend about he destroyed them because the head of the church wouldn't let him have a divorce. But why are abbeys in valleys and castles on hills? A lot of the abbeys run, or are built, not run, are built next to rivers. And right on the edge here, that's the river Lowther. Now we know they used to turn water into wine, but also sanitation purposes, and perhaps some of this water was blessed to become holy water. But it's not just here, Revo, across at Helmsley, that is also built next to a river. But castles aren't. However, Broom Castle is. Interesting. Just look at that view. I was here earlier this year and I made a little film. So let's have a look at that. Welcome to Shap Abbey. We're here at Shap Abbey, established around the 1200s. Initially wooden buildings next to the river, which is just at the bottom of the abbey there. But this tower at the end was built around about 1500 just before the dissolution of the monasteries by Henry VIII. But we'll have a look round. Hello. Hiya. How are you? And so we can see a bit more. Shap Abbey, as you can probably gather, is on the outskirts of Shap, which is in the Eden Valley. And I have to say, as far as abbeys are concerned, this one is an absolute belter. Something that I've never seen before. As we scoot around the abbey. Is when one of the higher echelon people, shall we say, such as an abbot, of the abbey when they died they were interred in stone in stone graves and there I have never seen a stone grave before but they couldn't have been very tall because I would say that's probably about five foot in length and his body was interred there in this beautiful surroundings. How many times have you been past the sign and might have seen Shap Abbey and you thought there's no point in going there? Well let me tell you there is a point for going there And it's that. That's why you should go there. And there is the River Lowther. So let's continue round and give you more of an experience. A lot of the stone 
over the years was used locally and that's the farmhouse that's next to it imagine having a farmhouse next to an abbey eh? but they knew what to do didn't they back in the day the stone was gathered can you imagine this operating as a as an abbey back in the day just going about their business not a care in the world no social media to stress anybody out the fact that there's a head shaped at the end there there's every possibility this was another stone grave mm -hmm. 